Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my second floss tube and uh, welcome. My name is Eve Birch, uh, everyday artist Steve, and uh, I'm going to talk to you today about cross stitch mostly. Um, a lot of you found me through uh, my sister's uh, floss tube. Thank you very much for uh, coming over and, and seeing uh, what I recorded last week. And I wanted to expound a little bit about uh, who I am. Uh, behind me, you can see a painting. Uh, that's Monet's um, The Pfeiffer. I copied that painting in high school. Uh, the teacher gave us a piece of poster paper and tempera paints and said, copy one of the great artists. I was on my knees for a very long time painting that painting. I made the tempera paint do what I wanted. And it was during doing something like that that I discovered that I could make paints do things that I wanted them to do. Um, but since I've been an adult, I do a lot of other things like uh, chalk on black paper and uh, well, pastels in general and painting with acrylics. I, I, I don't like oils because I never have the kind of lifestyle or space where I can just leave something to dry. Um, but since I moved to Florida, it's been very difficult for me to paint. Um, the um, air here is very very dry so the acrylics dry very fast and I also have changed my what I want to do uh, so I'm trying to change some of my style not all of it but some of it and toward that end I've been watching a lot of painting YouTube channels and there's one woman that I watch in particular her name is Joni Young simply because I like the way she paints water and I like the the I don't necessarily like all of her paintings but I like the way that she paints water and um, some of the other stuff that she does and so I've been trying to simulate some of what she does during these videos they're teaching videos you know she expects you to paint them her name is um, Joni Joni Young I think um, I, I knew it before I started the video but I don't know it right now anyway um, I I wanted to show you some of the stuff I'd been doing so this is a magnet and it's similar to one of the paintings that she did on her website she puts a lot of pink flowers and stuff I'm just not into flowering stuff um, this one started as one of hers, but I made it my own. And then uh, the background on this one started as something she had, and then I did what I wanted to do, something completely different. And I have a painting that I've done uh, from a photograph of some trees, and I like that painting fine, but... Uh, I did these backgrounds um, from one of her paintings. It's the same painting. Oops, that's upside down. Um, I did these backgrounds. Now you notice I changed the color. I love teal, so I changed the color on this one a little bit. But I did those same trees over it, and I really like the way this came out. This is more who I am. Um, not fantasy, but I like her. I like her, her the way she does light, and I like the way she does water. Um, so I really, really like the way these came out. And then um, I haven't decided whether or not to sell those. There's really little, and and you know, so shipping them, uh, it would cost more to ship than than what it would cost. What I would want to charge for the for the little painting. So I have to think about that. Um, so. This was based on, I can't see what I'm doing here. This was based on her, one of her paintings, and it's very similar, but not. And uh, it actually 
glows in the dark. I put glow in the dark painting on it. She didn't, I did. Because it seemed like it should be a painting that glowed in the dark. This is more my style. That's a picture down the street where I used to live in the snow. I took this picture years ago. And I didn't take a long time painting this. I just painted it for my mom. I did two of these and I gave her the best one uh, because they live here now and they had to sell their house and that makes her sad. But um, this one, I did one of the backgrounds, like I said, the light that she likes, but I painted my own thing over it, which is what I think I'm going to be changing a lot of the stuff and making it my own. But I really like the way this one came out as well. So that's kind of, you know, who I am and what I what I was doing before. But as I said last week, um, my sister um, said, hey, man, you should design a cross stitch for, I don't remember what it was that we were talking about. Oh, um, it's, on the, it's on the Etsy site, um, 10 Minutes to Midnight. It was from a discussion my sisters and I had, and I drew it, and we made it into a cross stitch. And I, I made it into a cross stitch pattern, and then I actually have made it into a needle punch pattern because I, I enjoy needle punch. And I just have been busy and haven't <laughs> done a sample of that. So it's not available as a needle punch with a with the um, with a you know a sample. Um, I've thought about putting it as an option for people to buy without a sample until I could get one made, but I probably won't do that. Again, this is a, uh, uh, this is not a, a video about art. It's a video about cross stitch. So um, I'm going to talk about cross stitch now. And um, I showed you these, I think my sister showed you this on her website. I can't remember. I mean on her Etsy. Uh, oh my gosh on her YouTube channel. And uh, this is the, um, it, I know the words don't show up very well. It's because of the color that it's done on. It says pumpkin picking. But these are of the series of um, themed little small designs. It usually takes a very short time to, to cross stitch these. They're pretty small. And I showed you last week, um, but I finished it. Uh, this is Scaring Crows. Is it Pack Rose? Hmm. Anyway, um, I fully finished this. And this is uh, Falling Leaves. And again, I showed this to you last week. And I just made them into little ornaments rather than pillows. We made most of the others pillows. So... Those are the ones that I finished, and um, I showed you this last week. Um, but I've been working on this, and I did do some work on this one. And that's how much less less most of what I did was this light blue and this little darker blue here. Um, I, I haven't worked on it a lot. Um, my, my dad has been pretty sick this week. I haven't really had time to do a lot of stuff. So, um, and then, um, you can't see the pattern here yet. Let me see if I can. This is another one of my own designs, and um, it doesn't have a you know name or anything on it. But I call it um, in the cornfield for right now. I might call it something else. I don't know, but and it's kind of hard to see on this print. There's a little cloud right here. But I started working on this, and I have just, this is backwards, isn't it? I don't know. 
Um, I have the little, um, this is going to be a little patch on his arm. So these are his arms. Um, so I got a little bit wet on that. And then, uh, as we mentioned, as I mentioned last uh, week, I, I want to do the Stitchy Witchy Challenge with my sister, uh, with my sisters, I guess, because we, more correctly, Beth talked uh, Naomi into joining us. So um, I was looking for patterns to do that were not mine. Uh, because while I intend to fully intend to do patterns that are mine, I was looking for others to do that I wasn't. But before I move on to others that are not mine, I'm also going to be working on this one, which is another one of those little uh, patterns that for that series. I'll probably do another Thanksgiving one, but I haven't decided what yet. So, and then. Um, I, uh, wanted in the stitchy witchy challenge, um, not only do you have to cross stitch 30 minutes a day, which wouldn't be a problem for me, but, um, I don't know that I want to do the same thing every day. And what if I finish stuff? Um, so I downloaded these patterns and this one is a kitty, uh, but it covers a lot of the a lot of the requirements in the Stitchy Witchy Challenge, you know, there's purple and, um, you know, some of the other things. So I'll probably start with this one, maybe. I don't know how I'll do the, you know, have a, your favorite movie in the background because there's no way I can set up where it's in the background. I just can't, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I don't think I can. Uh, my TV is to my right shoulder of where I usually sit when I cross stitch. It, it's not really behind me. But I'm really looking forward to starting this one. Um, but I want to use this also and do something that scares me. So I'm thinking about doing, I don't know, some other kind of cloth to stitch it on. I haven't, my sister Beth and I were discussing it and I haven't really decided what, but I'm looking forward to that. Although I, I, I got this off of DMC's website, they have some free patterns. And um, everything is in English and French. <laughs> so, so it's uh, kind of the way they list the, the, the colors and stuff is kind of odd, but I think I can go from there. I don't think I have very much to buy other than cloth to get this one started. And I also got this, same website, off of DMC's website, one of their free patterns. It's two Orca I love. As I showed you, well, no, most of the ones I have in my room still that I haven't showed you, they're all water lately. I've just that's all I want to paint is water, water different ways, waves, um, you know. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, yay. <laughs> As I love uh, dolphins and orcas and things like that. And um, it's mostly black and white. Um, it doesn't have very many colors. It has... Um, this, this printed back and front, it's very weird. It's got four colors. You know, the super white and black, and then I think a darker gray and kind of a silvery gray color. So, so this one's only four colors, so that'd be, you know, kind of interesting to do. And then the last one I got to do uh, for uh, next month's Stitchy Witchy Challenge is um, this beautiful sea turtle. And I was talking to my sister about, you know, what kind of cloth I'd, I, I want it to look kind of like water behind, behind him. And so I may dye some cloth uh, with a lot of, uh, 
you know, um, white in it, so it would look like the reflection in the waves, I mean, in the water and stuff. But I may add some seaweed because he's just kind of out in space, you know. <laughs> and uh, the orca are too, but there's two of them and they're inverted, and so that's kind of cool. But um, I may add some seaweed. I don't know. I may not, but I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you think. If you want, go ahead and comment. You know, I'd be interested to know your opinions. Should I add some seaweed to this pattern or not? Um, and then that's all of the uh, things I plan to stitch. But I want to do some talking about our Etsy site. I, I know my sister mentioned um, these things, but I want to go ahead and show them again and actually expound a little bit on something. Okay, I can't open this little bag. I thought I could. Now, this is a scissor fob that we've put up and the beads are um, kind of coppery looking but they're clear. They're, they're like a glass bead and they're clear. They're really pretty. But I got them because of this copper Okay, my hand is in the way, sorry. This copper, uh, this owl has a copper colored background, or bronze, more correctly. And his little, he's got little jewels around his eyes, and his belly is a very light lilac color. It's kind of hard to tell, because the light is shining on it. But it, it, let me see if I can get it where the light isn't hitting it so much. there. It's kind of a purpley, very light lilac color. Um, when I was making this, I had made a whole bunch of scissor fobs and stuff, and um, I, my fingernails were mad at me, so I stopped. Um, but I have also this color I plan to make. It's kind of a, a purpley red. And Blue. I like blue. And there was another color, uh, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there was just three. But there were two of each color. Um, I have all the beads and everything ready to go with the clasps and everything so that it, I can, all I have to do is beat them. And, <laughs> and, uh, I got that far and then said, okay, I'm tired. And then things have been crazy at the house and I never got back to doing it. Um, you know, people's birthdays, my parents were sick, my mom had surgery, my dad had surgery. It's, it, you know, I take care of both of my parents. I live in the same home with them. And so things got away from me for quite a while. Um, and then uh, the other thing that's on the Etsy site right now is this little, Santa uh, scissor fob. It has a lobster clasp and little Christmas tree beads ending with a peppermint. It's very cute. And so these are on the web on the Etsy website already. On the Etsy site, uh, Three Sisters Creative. Three Sisters Creative. Our email address is Three Sister Creative because for some reason we couldn't get sisters. But the Etsy site is Three Sisters Creative. And um, go there and look. We have a lot of different things. We have um, scissor fobs, uh, needle minders. Uh, the needle minders that you saw on my, on my uh, work that I was working on, um, we have needle minders like that on, on the Etsy site and um, patterns <laughs> and uh, I don't know lots of different things so go check it out and um, if you um, if you go there um, starting October 1st through October 31st we're having a, a sale 10% um, off of everything store-wide and you can um, you can order there and and get 10% off. And you know, if you get a, a 
if you get a project bag and a and a notions pouch uh, together, you would get free shipping and the 10% off. So it's a really pretty good deal. Uh, we put that sale on to uh, support the stitchy witchy, you know, just something that that would uh, you know because we're excited about it and, and we want to we want to support them but uh, we thought that would be a nice way I know it's not affiliated with them but uh, you know give people stuff in which to do their their um, stitching uh, that's all for today um, if you uh, have any comments please let me know uh, if you have any suggestions um, I thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.